Hi guys, thank you, thank you very much for uh, having me here in Vancouver. For sure, welcome. Thank you very much. So to kick off, could you uh, please briefly introduce yourselves? Pyramidian, the band. I'm Kyle, the vocalist. I'm Ryan, the bass player. I'm Greg, guitarist. Max on drums. Adam, guitar. And so you've uh, released one EP so far. Uh, could you please talk me through it, like the inspiration behind it and how you guys got the magic to happen? Yeah, I guess, um, uh, like, Kyle and I go way back. We played in metal bands for starting like 10 years ago. And I, I started up a new project and was really inspired by uh, just Egyptian ancient mythology and the different scales that go along with it, like not only lyrics and subject matter, but there's a lot of guitar scales and just way of playing guitar that sounds Egyptian. So working that and melding that with the metal sound, I thought there was something there. Um, and there's a lot of really good lyric content to go along with that. Like mostly ancient Egypt, like the uh, lifestyle that was led there, not by so much like well documented pharaohs and gods. Pharaohs and gods basically one and the same, basically didn't fit on who they the ass back then. But <laughs> the um, interesting part about it was just how awful it was to be a uh, a peasant, to be like a regular a slave worker, a slave worker, a peasant, any kind of the lowest class in, in ancient Egypt because the wealth was kept up with the royalty. And so like they lived generations and generations of like horrible life, like were like torturous life. Every day digging a hole, and you you were digging the same hole your grandpa dug and your great grandpa dug before. And you're still working on that same hole. You had like a cup, you had like a bronze chisel, and that was it. That's all you could dig with. <laughs> so I just I was just, I was just so blown away by how horrible that must have been, and that I felt that it'd be really good lyrical content because like it's it's brutal. It looks it's just it's absolutely brutal. I've always had a big fascination with ancient Egypt my whole life. Um, I used when I was a kid. I used to think that aliens built the pyramids. I was a big believer in that when I was like a little kid. I was like 13, 14. I thought that was the coolest shit ever. And then I realized that probably <coughs> it's just people. Getting I believe it. Forced to do it. Certain things maybe, <laughs> but people just being forced to do things in their entire lives and generations of families. And there's like a village outside of the valley, of uh, the valley of the kings, where they all like they found, they excavated, and they all lived there. And there was that. It was just so much, such a plethora of stuff to write about. And I feel like the pharaohs and the gods get way too much press, you know? All right. So I feel like those people need to be talked about too, because it was, it sounded horrible from all, all intents and purposes from what I've read anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so it's, it's amazing that you both, you guys both had that same interest. Yeah, it was going cool. way back. Didn't really uh, know that until Greg came up to me with it. Uh, one of my favorite bands of all time is Nile. Like, I love Nile. Um, but they're just so untouchable musically and lyrically. Like, he's an Egyptologist, I believe, Carl Sanders. <laughs> like, how can I? I'm never, we're like, I'm never going to live up to that standard, right? But we still, there's still so much material there. And we just sort of did our own style. A little more groovy. Yeah. A little more West Coast. A little yeah. more West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Canada, as far away as Egypt as possible. Very much yeah. colder. Yeah, uh, and wetter. So how did you guys come into the to the project? Um, I met Greg kind of through the metal scene. His uh, girlfriend plays in another metal band, and then we met up. 
and uh, I was the first person to start playing with him in the whole project thing. It was just him and I working on guitar parts and everything, and then we slowly found other people to play with. Max and I played together in a band called Over the Coals, and uh, I eventually kind of convinced him, coaxed him into playing drums for this project, and which now we're both full-time in, and then we picked up Ryan from the Tribune. Actually, before we got Max, we got Ryan yeah. as well. And then we could just kind of all... Greg basically poached everyone from other bands. Long, long story short, yeah. that's, that's basically it. And so being all of us from other bands and all of us from fairly decently successful bands, everything just works so well. We were able to like roll, keep the ball rolling forward very well rather than it gets stale really quick. A lot of experience. Yeah, a lot of yeah. experience. Oh, awesome. I mean, yeah. Horrible shows and great shows. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do you find the songwriting process will it change up from song to song like will there be a song where you start start up with the the melody and the riffs and then do the lyrics uh, and uh, well, quite often greg and greg and adam will come up with guitar parts and then ride and i will will fill in the back line bass and drums parts and then lyrics are generally kind of icing on the cake at the end of end of the song structure yeah, yeah I, most of the time i find it's I can't really write lyrics in like a jam sense, so if I have it, yeah, like what Greg will often do is he'll throw a demo together and then send it to me. Even though I'll just I'll try it out while we're here rehearsing, I'll try out different patterns, different like syncopations, and like try and get find something that fits, and I just fill in the blanks, and then I just take a. Usually the theme is kind of mutually discussed between all of us. We kind of have a general idea of the theme. Greg will have a working title. That's kind of how it all started anyway. We had working titles of the Egyptian Yeah, a lot themes. of them just kind of stuck, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have a working title and you just end up writing lyrics around that. Exactly. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. And so, and that's, yeah, then we just come and jam. Fortunately, everybody's really pro and like I play in a, this, another band too that's very active and takes up almost all my time because I do everything in that band and manage it. I do all the show bookings. So this is the band I get to actually have fun in. <laughs> <laughs> like the other band is just constant work and it's great work it's fulfilling work but at the same time I like it's nice to have it hang out with guys that are all like super together and have their shit together <laughs> and they learn their parts and you never have to worry about it on stage at all like we literally go on stage after we could do a couple jams and be pretty confident that everybody's gonna pull their weight on stage <laughs> These guys will attest to that. It's hard to find a band where you get everybody yeah. on yeah. the same page. You don't have to babysit <laughs> anyone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, it's, as you guys all contribute your bits, do you have any favorite, like let's say favorite bass line or drum part or lyrics? Well, I, I kind of feel like every new song we write is my favorite song. <laughs> you know, like... Presently, like our list of songs on the board over there, but um, there's some on there that you know you chip away at for a really long time that are difficult in the beginning and you're able to play through by the end. And then, oh, I like that song more than all the other ones now. Yeah, we're kind of <clears throat> always because because of our experience, but the band's still relatively new. We're still growing together, so every new song is that much better than the one before. Not that the, the songs, the old ones, are bad, but we just we're kind of gelling together better, I guess you could say. Basically, our next CP is going to be really, really awesome. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's going to be way better than the first one. Yeah, better than the first, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh -huh. And speaking of next CP, you're currently just jamming to find the next uh, songs? I guess, I guess we're kind of starting to do pre-pro now. I mean, we're <clears throat> finalizing what songs we're going to record, uh, starting to get studio time lined up. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, just doing pre-pro, you know, we're gonna hopefully have another EP up by what, like winter? I hope so. Should yeah. take a lot. Before Should Christmas. That's another thing, we record fairly quick, so. Yeah. First EP was two weeks. Yeah. 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 Two weeks so it won't take long to get it out, and then hopefully whatever uh, song we end up picking for our single will end up having a music video to release with it as well. That will be a big thing, yeah. That's One awesome. of the benefits of us all being from experienced bands is that uh, we kind of know the process to go along. Yes. Yeah, and we know how important self-promotion is. So when we have a goal, like let's say we're releasing an EP, we know that there's a bunch of things that go along with it. EP release shows, we need a video, we need, you know, promo on that, we've already got a press kit, you know, like uh, all the experience that we have just has made this band work so easily with the members. And yeah. Greg does all of our artwork too. Oh, all the artwork, okay. Awesome. Greg is a graphic design genius. Wizard. Oh. <laughs> Some would say that he's a graphic design artist of his generation. Yeah. Oh, that Savant. <laughs> and do you guys have. <laughs> uh, and, and do you guys have concepts for the music video already that you could be well, doing? Well, yes, no. Yeah, yes, no. Nothing we're, we can talk about because it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, sure, we sure. Have different, we have some, some different ideas. Like my favorite things. idea, or I think Adam and my favorite idea involves a wood chipper and old furniture, but it's <laughs> not exactly ancient <laughs> Egyptian theme. <laughs> <laughs> yep. it, it can Tight. be spewing out of a pyramid. <laughs> yeah. It's a tight Something. balance. It's, like uh, it's a fine line we walk where it's, yeah. you want to stay true to the themes, but we also... Are we're pretty loose. Next. Yeah, we're pretty loose. Like <laughs> yeah, every, the way we approach it, the way we do everything about it, it's all like it's mostly about just having fun and playing music and having an experience, right? <laughs> It's, so it's all like, still up in the air. Yeah, it's also, yeah. Yeah. Yet to be determined. Yeah. Sure. No, that's awesome. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>